All right, so we're going fishing in the creek today, but we're going to use live bait. Nate's going to show me how to catch some bait. Like a giant shad. Yeah. Big old gizzard, man. Man, I like catching on a rod and reel. Yeah. Yo, oh, slimy thing. My goodness, that is a giant. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should try if fishing. We, with if it. we catch a fish off that, maybe that <laughs> eight pound bass is talking about. All right. Well, so we need some Oops. common shiners. All right, so we just caught some uh, bait fish, then we're gonna use them, hopefully catch some bigger fish with them. You know what I was reading? I don't know if you've heard this or not, but I heard that bass stay back in shade during, uh, during high daylight because they don't have eyelids. They, they just can't really, it's hard for them to see bright. Hmm. Yeah, I went like three days and went to several different places. And uh, one of them was Watauga River in like northeast Tennessee. Uh -huh. And man, I never seen so many trout. There was trout all over the place. There he is. Were they there he is, come on. Spot looks like. Chunky spotted bass there. Man, he took that thing down. Pretty fish. Actually. Oh, got the hook out and he's fine. Fun little fish right there. Oh, oh, come on, take it. There he is. Oh my. What is that thing doing hitting my shiner? No wonder we couldn't hook it. That's, That's a big old sucker. Yeah. I'm throwing him in the bucket. Maybe we'll use him for catfish bait. Oh yeah. Come on, what we got? Bluegill. Bluegill. Well, there's something. It's funny how we've been fishing with live bait and really not catching that many fish off of it. Got one on the teeny R. Oh man. Well, help yourself there, buddy. Let me come back. There you got it. Right there. Yeah. Well, it looks like we're feeding the wildlife instead of uh, catching fish. Oh, he's getting stuck in your net. Now, I had a bit of chub laying there. Fish came out and stole it. I had no idea. Well, of course, we're standing around here on these rocks. Stole our chub. I don't know if he's going to be able to eat that thing. I don't know where he's taking it. Man, he can move fast with it. We're all standing around. He just sneaks in beside us. Takes off with it. This isn't going to be good for my viewers. Everybody's scared. I'm going to step on a snake and my hair snuck in right beside me. This thing going.
to the other side to grab it. Just so we can get a better hold on it. Stuck right up on us. Actually, I was um, over here, and Nate yelled at me, "Hey, there's a look at this. Come down." The snake comes up to where our bait was, grabs that uh, chub, and just carries it off like it's nothing. Oh, there's our snake. I came back to look for him. He's already ate that whole thing. Still moving pretty fast. That was like 15 minutes ago, and I left. Where'd he go? Going back up in his rocks. Probably go sit in the sun and rest. Rock bass! Knew I was gonna catch one up here. Hold on. Oh yeah. Oh, come out of there, come on. Man, he's trying to take me all in and stuff. What we got? Oh, rock bass. Rock bass. Oh, oh, good fish. Good fish. Just kept hammering it right over those rocks. Oh, nice bass. That's what I was wanting. Oh, he's not hooked that good, I don't think. Don't come off, don't come off, don't come off. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh. No, 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 no. That's a good creek bass right there. All of it. All right, that's a nice bass. Is that a spotted bass? If it's not, if it's a Kusa bass, that's the biggest one I ever caught. All right, the fish in this creek are kind of hard to identify sometimes. It almost has a white patch, like a uh, Kusa bass, and it's kind of got the color. He's definitely not a largemouth. Maybe a spot, but uh, maybe some kind of mix. But that's a that's a nice fish, probably around a pound. Kind of crowded. Right. Did you catch one? No. You want to use this? <laughs> I just looked down and saw a crawdad there. Well, let's see what he does. Oh, you got it. <laughs> the crawdad paid off pretty quick. Yeah. That's a pretty fish. Now, that's definitely a spotted bass. He got them pinchers off, too. Yeah, I heard that. That's what I've heard. They like they break the pinchers off first, then go back and get it. Yeah. Yeah, now that one you can tell is a spotted bass, pretty sure, easy. So the other ones are definitely something else. There we go. 
Oh, good one, good one, good one. Oh! <laughs> I was trying to see what it was. I couldn't tell. Wait right in. Watch out for acorns. Wind started blowing. All of a sudden, they started falling like crazy. Hopefully, nothing bigger is falling like you no know, logs. <laughs> that little acorn fell and a fish hit at it. There he is. <laughs> I had to twitch it, I had to keep twitching the dead minnow to get him to hit. Oh, it came out. All right, Nate baited me up. Wait, I didn't have to go all the way back over there. I'm gonna go catch one of these fish. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a good one. They're gonna hammer it. I've seen, I've seen all these bass and other fish hanging right around the front of these rocks right here. Something just hit it. Got him. Rock bass. I see a bunch of fish just right around the front of these rocks this is where I caught my biggest one earlier. Oh, got one. There he is. That's the one I, I missed earlier, I think. Yeah, doubled up. That's a real pretty fish. Now that looks like a spotted bass. Doesn't have the eye, the eye patch. I got that one that I missed earlier. I think that's the same one. Alrighty, a little creek bass. Alright, that was a good haul of that one. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, we got a sucker. Oh, that's cool. Hognose uh, sucker, or a uh, northern hog sucker. These fish right here have really weird mouths. Little sucker, sucker fish. And we got some big shiners. And we got some big shiners. Or that's not a shiner, that's a... Uh, I'm not sure what that one is. I think it's called Stone Roller. I'm not sure on that one. We got a bunch of everything in here. And some painted uh, shiners. Man, that's cool. Now you got a whole variety of stuff. There's like four or five different species in there. There he is, there he is. I think he's hooked that time. Oh yeah, a lot of moss and a bass. Look at that thing. I let him get it that time. He got it in his mouth. That that's definitely a kusa bass. Yeah, look at that. It's got the bluish white thing behind his eyes. Green body. Got little spots down here. Usually got some kind of tent around the, uh, like a white tent around the fins. Coosa bass, another place where they're not supposed to be. Maybe he'll be all right. That's a nice little fish though. But there was a spot there where, um, this huge area, nothing but crawdad legs. Just tons of them. I'm like, my goodness. That a healthy mic. It is. Oh, wow. Get it on the top of the bucket or something. Oh, That's how you catch them. You just pick up ro random rocks. Oh shoot, I'm sorry. So. I really don't want to get pinched by that. You want to use them or anything? Well, there goes a Helgramite, one of my favorite lures, but that's the real, real thing right there. And we just got done fishing. Oh, there he goes. I guess I ain't gonna use him. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. We're done fishing. Thanks to Nate over here. Put me on the fish. You know, he was nice enough just to let me catch them all day. Just kidding. <laughs> so I ended up catching a bunch of fish off this uh, old bridge over here built in the 1840s. Part of it anyways. Most of it's been redone. 
and I uh, had a pretty good day overall fishing, catching a bunch of different little things, and uh, seeing that snake was really cool. Thanks for watching.